Hello, it's Sunflower Creations here, and welcome back to my channel. So today, it, I'm going to be doing my spring barn tour. The barn has changed quite a bit since my winter one, and it's been quite a while since that one, so yeah. First, I'm just going to give you an overview so you can tell where everything is at, and then we will get started. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to start out the sign. It just says Bull Run Ranch, and it's just in front of one of our barns. Then on both sides of it, it has these two little trees that I got with the horse show set. And right in front of there is our cow, one of the cows, Daisy, and her calf, Scamper. Not sure what breed either of them are. Um, and then there's some rocks and a sign that says Horse Crossing Ahead. Then we can go in, right into the wash stall where we have Drifter getting washed by Jake and Matthew. And we have a hose, a towel, a hook for them for to be tied up, and a blanket hanging right there. And then we also have some halters on this hook that was for a wreath in my winter barn tour. And then we also have a few little flowers. And then we can turn and go right into this barn. And in the first stall, it, we have Rodeo Rebel, um, and then Alyssa tacking him up, and then another, then an empty stall, and then we have Feldspar wearing a little halter type thing that I made. Then if we go over here, we have a sign for the Western Saddle Parts, then a little cactus, and a shelf of feed on the bottom, some cubbies in the middle and then some blankets and brushes and different things and then on top we have cat food and a cat toy then if we turn and go this way we have some ribbons and a horse anatomy sign then we have a sign that says caution this horse bites some full halters fly spray and some more cubbies that have some books and some different treats and different things like that then we have a couple hooks that have some halters and lead ropes on them. And then right here we have the three saddle racks. Western saddle, an empty one. And then another, then an English saddle with a saddle pad that I made. And then we have a pitchfork. Also on the front of these stalls we have some halters and different things like that. And on this one we have a bridle. We come out of that barn right in front of it we have our horse trailer or truck and trailer and then this is Rowan one of our Labradors um this is Tori she is unloading my Shiro Studios custom horse which I am in love with Dante and then another horse in there a custom that I did on the quarter horse mare feather you can show your face and then we have our truck with Jeff inside yeah you can't see him but he's in there and then if we go right here from this barn, the first barn, we have a little pasture which has a sign that says keep close gates closed no matter what the horses say. And then we have a little dragonfly watching them with the trailer. And then her mama Venus and Maple, our Jack Russell Terrier. And then we have some hay and water and a few little flowers. And then back there we have a tree with some rocks around it, some flowers, hay net, and June bug, our donkey. Right over from that, we have this barn. There's a second barn here, and it's the lesson horse barn. So the first stall, this is Chance, and he has a halter on the front of his stall, and some hay. And then right here in the aisle is Bone, one of our dogs, I'm not sure what brand he is. And then this is Erica, and she's trying to get Dude from his stall. And then this, there's a couple empty stalls also. And then right here is Ranger. And then right over here, we have our feed feed room, which has some shavings, some different things on the wall, some hay, a bunch of bins of grain, apples, 
carrots, buckets, lead ropes, a whole bunch of random stuff, some supplements up there, and a medical cabinet, and a, bunch, some, a feed chart, and a whole bunch of other things. Some little feed bags over there also. Then right out front of that barn, we have Erica getting ready to go muck some stalls out. And we also have Jewel, our goat, some rocks, and mistletoe, our reindeer with this white fencing set up, and then some tack boxes, which are a complete disaster, so I'm not going to open them. Right over from those, we have our pony barn, which first we have some hooks with halters, bride bridles, and lead ropes, and different things like that. And a saddle stand with a halter. Then right in this stall we have stumbles, and he has some hay. And right here we have Buck, and he has some grain and some hay. Then in front of that barn we have a Christmas tree. It's not a Christmas tree, I'm just saying it's a tree because I like to have greenery around my barn, and yeah, it's all I have, so I just use that. Right over from there is, our, is another barn. It's this one. It's kind of like the tack room barn type thing. Big stalls for draft horses because we have a lot of drafts at the ranch. Over here, if you go over here, you have a bin of food for the people. Then some grooming tools, some fly spray, and a full bottle. Then right here, we have a whole bunch of hooks for bridles. Then a little pendant type thing and a parts of an English saddle poster. Right here we have an English, sa English saddle that is actually broken and has that on it. Then a, a bridle and another bridle, I think. Right over from there is Outlaw in his stall. And each of these stalls has a thing for water and some hay. And right here is Dakota Rose, a custom on the, that I've done on the Clydesdale mare, and she is wearing her halter. Right out front is Charlotte, our Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy, I guess, and she's just eating some food. And then here is some hooks for halters, bridles, lead ropes, whatever. And then a bunch of saddles right here and some saddle pads and different things. Then if we go over from this barn, we have a little stall that has our pony Phoenix in it. And I made this stall, just a cute little white stall. Um, he also has some water in there. And then we have Ocean, one of our Labradors, some little flowers. And then in here is Bailey, one of the riders here. And a halter on a hook. And then in that stall is Renegade. And in the back stall, we have um, Anybody's Guess or Neptune. And then up here is the hayloft, which has some bales of hay, also some loose hay, and then the ladder to get up and down. Coming over from those barns, we have our arena. Starting back here, we have some flags. And then right down from those, we have Callie on Legacy. There's, she's riding him bareback, and they're about to go over a jump. We also have one jump here. Another one there, and the water jump there. Right out here is Lyric with Taylor riding her, and we're about to go over a jump too. Lyric is a custom on the tournament mare, not sure what breed she is. Right out here, we also have a few little flowers, then the two flower boxes, and some vines with flowers, also a few flags. Then over here is Jackie, and she's leading. Our mare Supernova, wearing, that's wearing a halter that I made. And then following is her little full rumor. Um, his register name is just a rumor. They're both customs I did. He's rumors on the Holsteiner full, and Nova is on the Hanoverian mare. She is for sale if you're interested, also. And then right out front from there, we have Sky on Traveler. About to go into the barn to practice. Not into the barn, into the arena to practice. And then over here, we have a table 
with a little whip, lunge whip, and a, a carrot. Then right here in front of the arena is Rick, who is lunging Whispering Willow, who is wearing a halter that I made for her. And coming over here, we have our vet. This is Dr. Becker, and she has her vet thing. And then O'Malley is very curious, and he's coming over to see what she's doing by the van. Behind that, we have the awards place, which has medals hanging on the top and also some vines with flowers. Then in here is some trophies, more ribbons, and a wreath. And if we go over here, we have a little stall with some fencing right next to the house. And in here, grazing is rain. She has her hay bale and a watering, an automatic waterer, and then a little shelter. And then if we go into the house, this is the final part of the barn. We have the kitchen right in here. There is a bucket on the counter. Also a bowl and a spoon, and then underneath we have some pots, and then right here is a stove and oven. And then right here is the sink, which has a bunch of dirty dishes in it, because no one has time to clean dishes. And then there are is the table and chair with a computer, a phone, so and some flowers on it. Over here we have a backpack, um, and a cake, a little box a dog leash, and a book. Have this poster on the wall, and also a window. A little couch with a blanket hanging over it, and then we also have a dog bed. Then you can go up the ladder into the loft, which has a chest for different things, a rug, and a little bed, and then some posters. And there's also a poster right down there. And then right over here, we have the bathroom. Had a shower, and a toilet down there. And the final part is in here, which is a very messy office with a bunch of little tiny model horses that I painted and some books and different things in there and then a poster. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this, my spring barn tour. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below your favorite part of my barn. See y'all next time. Bye. Okay, I just wanted to ask you one thing before I end this. I was just wondering if any of you would be interested in getting commission from me. Please comment this down below because I'm thinking about starting it, but I want to know if anyone's interested. Just so I don't start it and then no one is interested actually. So, yeah, if you're interested, please comment down below. I don't know exactly how I'll do it yet, but I just want to know if any of you are interested. Thank you. Bye.